Another delay for plans to build a tunnel for the Line 5 pipelines under the Straits of Mackinac. It's our top story at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson in for Sherry Jones. A state commission wants more safety and construction information from Enbridge Energy before it votes whether or not to approve plans to build the tunnel to house the twin pipelines. This comes out of a meeting held just today. Josh Sanchez is here for you now. Josh, tell us more about this latest proposal. Lauren, the State Public Service Commission has been involved in the proposed Enbridge project since 2020. The commission has the authority to give the final approval to the plan, but today said they need more information before a final vote. This has been an extensive process. Uh, we want to make sure that we get it right, and that is the, the rationale behind reopening the record for the uh, development of additional information in this, this matter. More construction details on Enbridge's controversial proposal to build a tunnel under the Straits of Mackinac. That's what the state's Public Service Commission says is needed before it can cast a final vote. It's another setback for Enbridge Energy as it works to keep oil flowing through its Line 5 pipeline. If a tunnel is approved, it would relocate a section of pipeline currently at the base of the Straits of Mackinac to a tunnel 60 to 250 feet underground. Attorney Margretta Kearney with the Environmental Law and Policy Center has been representing Michigan environmental groups concerned with the project. She says this latest development shows that Enbridge officials have not been transparent through the application process. Really what we're seeing is Enbridge is still and has a history of not providing sufficient information to the state to make the state feel comfortable with the risky actions Enbridge is taking. An Enbridge spokesperson declined an interview but says the company believes that the state commission has extensive information documenting the engineering and safety of the Great Lakes Tunnel. While Enbridge officials say an underground pipeline would be one of the safest ways to transport oil, Kearney says she's skeptical. And I think it's really important that Enbridge interprets this order from the commission very broadly. Um, they really need to prove to the state and to the people of Michigan that there is zero chance of an accident here. I think that'll be a very hard thing for them to prove. Officials with Enbridge Energy say that the, say that the order will not impact their permit timeline with other government agencies like the Army Corps of Engineers. The commission say that they will refer the order to a state judge to decide on the timeline for their request for more information. Lauren, back to you. All right, thank you, Josh.